very, very tough guard. He hit that big three down there in this game. But yeah, Gab wanted him, and then he got contagious. That Gab wanted him, and Justin wanted him, and Jalen wanted him. And then we'll, we'll try to stop him home. So they picked up the intensity. But he's played a bunch of guard. As a coach, was it difficult in, in a game like this to have so many guys who want, wants to be that guy to be the stopper, to be the guy? You know? Yeah, it's also difficult because you're trying to you're trying to win the game. But at the same time, you're trying to balance minutes because it's an all-star game to get guys in. And you feel bad for the guys who didn't play as much as they should have. But at the same time, it's competitive, and you've got to try to win it because that's what people are here to see. So it's, that's a difficult balancing act for sure. It doesn't always look great when you get these games going. You see the competitiveness that you get from other teams. I thought it was great. You know, Tony McIntyre, Jesse Tipping, and all the guys over at the Athlete Institute, they get the training camp going. We've got to run a couple of practices. And I think that added to the value of the game. I'd like to see three or four practices in the inter, uh, inter-game scrimmage. Um, and I think you'll see even better competition. Yeah, it seemed to us they were a bit nervous, a uh, little bit uh, at the first half. Things kind of settled down, and they played a lot more fluid in the second half. Is that a consequence of not playing together a lot? It's a consequence of not playing together a lot, but it's also a consequence of the fact that they know that there's 50-something NBA personnel in the gym, and, uh, and, the, and the game was televised nationally. So a lot of these kids play on big, you know, they played, Jamal's played it last weekend at the Hoop Summit, so he's seen the big lights. And for some of these guys, not all of them are seniors. Some of them are, you know, grades 10, and so it's new to them. So um, televised nationally, I was nervous. I was sweating too. It seemed like some of the younger players um, kind of struggled in the game, the, the underclassmen. Do um, you think it was uh, anything special to that, just the competition level, maybe they weren't ready for it? You know what, I go back and I think when I was in grade 10, was I successful with these guys that were two years older than me? That's a tough category. So it, 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 you br- it provides a unique aspect, as opposed to McDonald's All-American, where you got seniors. This is a unique aspect where you got younger guys um, being able to introduce their showcase showcase so they can continue over the next year or two to develop in the game. So you know what, nerves are normal. Playing against older grade guys, that's normal that they're going to be a little bit nervous. On the topic of the spotlight, how what is the significance of this game uh, for Canada basketball? I mean, look at this this media scrum right here and all the attention and all the people in the stands. I mean, it's a great thing that they've started here. It's the equivalent, it's the Canadian version of our McDonald's All-American. And I think the more publicity you got NBA people, it was sanctioned by the NBA, so the NBA was actually using this event to come and watch it. That is just remarkable, and I think it's just only going to grow bigger. Jerome Brody, you know, especially for him, he is a, he's a horse. He's an animal. That guy is so tough to guard. He attacks the glass. He's relentless. I'd love to have that kid on my team any day. He kind of gave uh, Son some fits there, too. He did. He did. And I, I think, you know, he was very aggressive with Son. And Son was, you know, rushing a little bit too much to do. But once Son settled down, you could see the passing ability and his finishing ability around the rim really elevated. But, yeah, Jerome was being very, very physical with Son. And Son's a very unique player because he's kind of a guard, but he's seven foot one, So he's in that position that he's going to take some time, but he's going to be very, very good. Coach, you left a big piece there about Ben with uh, Zion Zion Williams being there. What do you think about his game overall and how he's developed as a young kid? You know what? He is so mentally tough that that's his greatest attribute. He he has a high motor. He's mentally tough, so he took on that challenge. And um, you know, I don't think you can teach that. I think you're born with that. So we we had to leave him on the game. He he deserved to stay on the game. We took him off for about a minute there in the fourth quarter, just give him a little bit of rest, but he had to come right back. He was really our only matchup against the Mavericks. Last question, last question. Do you see any point where a CIS can maybe work on their bird sheet from the big game to play a team with similar quality or something like this? Yeah, I think the I think the structure of how they fund the student athletes in the CIS has to change slightly in order to keep the kids wanting to come and play in the CIS. The CIS this game has already grown compared to what it was when I played a lot of years ago. It's completely changed even to this point. So, you know, give it another five years. If they can change the, the, the funding structure of how they fund the student athletes, I think it will continue to grow. I mean, the CIS Nationals was here, right? So, I mean, that's a, a positive first step, I think, as a little buzz and hype around it. And I think it can grow. It definitely will.